Welcome back to Amnesia the Bunker. We need to head to the Roman tunnels to get the detonator. But we don't have the bolt cutters that we need for that. So I'm going to go back to the soldier quarters and explore that more now that I have a lot more capabilities. See what I missed. Now we can open vents. And we can light things on fire so I can go where rats once were. Much easier. Not gonna sprint. Gonna keep an eye out. For anything I can open with my wrench. So this I can blow open, but uh, perhaps there's a brick around here. I'm not sure. So I'm looking for bricks and um, ventilation shafts. Here we go. I hope this doesn't make too much noise. Ah, oh, more storage space. Gathering of the Willing, 28th of May. After what happened with Neuer, after how Reynard and Fournier treated him and LaRue, there's only one way forward for us. I've gathered men I can trust, proposed to them what we will do. To a man, all of them were willing. It was such a relief. T seemed eager to go. The poor man. I hear him at night, muttering in rhymes, trying to comfort himself. For his sake, for all our sakes, this nightmare must stop. Late now on the 14th of June, the nightmares have stopped. We no longer hear those sounds. But now I am plagued by worse nightmares. My fellow saboteurs were all caught. Delpy and Reynard torture them even now. And yet none of them have turned me in. I alone have escaped punishment. The honor among these men, my brothers. I'm not worthy of it. It haunts me. The guilt of it. I know they will be court-martialed, maybe even put to death. And here I am. My consolation, the war will punish me, as it punishes us all, and I will remain vigilant, lest whatever darkness lurks in those tunnels returns. This is back to the beginning? Yes.
Oh, hello. I missed that photograph. Oh, is that showing the power distribution? Wait, where are we right now? Does And does this matter? I don't think it matters anymore, does it? We've sorted out the power situation. I can make a nice stick. Aha! Uh -huh. What is this showing? Um, I have no idea. I think I'll need to reference this map with the main map back at the in uh, back in administration to be able to make any sense of it. Cause I'm not sure what place this is even showing. I don't think it's the soldier quarters though. Ah. Is there a shortcut back? Kinda. How many shots do I have? Two. Right. Oh, it's out. It's out. How are we doing on time? Oh. I forgot to bring it. Well, we should be good for a while more. Oh, it's right there. Jesus, why isn't it walking around? Oh, it's back in the walls. I didn't think it would be just right there. Because normally it likes to move around. Right, well, I couldn't find a brick, so you know what that means. I'm trying to get it to come out. Ah, fuck it.
We'll come back there. Yeah. How are we doing on fuel? Okay, it's about halfway. Go back. Oh, but let's take my stopwatch. Or, eh, well, yeah, okay, I'll take it. Can I douse this torch in gas? Well, not with a fuel bottle, at least. No. I think it's just good as it is. I don't think it's meant to be further processed. Should I take another petrol bomb? Eh, not for where we're about to go. the sleeping quarters and who has which bunk I don't think I need that right now but uh, that could have been useful for like uh, I think I think there was a note that mentioned somebody's bunk having the key to the pillbox or the I don't know some thing so I could have used that to help me find it Jupiter's journal patrol debriefing Control report, 10th of July, 1916. Odd occurrences last night. Lambert, thought dead after his patrol on the 8th, returned to the barracks in fine health. He carried with him Clement, severely wounded from an explosion. Lambert reports the following. That midway through his patrol on the 8th, he fell into a deep crater and was unable to escape. Clement, his close friend, snuck out after him last night, located him in the crater, and carried him out. They were spotted, and in the ensuing attack, Clement was injured by an explosion. It fell on Lambert to carry him back. Very odd that Lambert was neither injured from the fall nor the explosion, and that he ended up saving the man who came to save him. But battlefield luck is an odd thing. In every life, fate's winds blow erratic. Judging by Lambert's description, the crater he fell into seems to have been located very close to the Roman tunnels we unearthed. It may have been a result of work down there. Recommend a future patrol investigate and make sure we have not opened up a back door into our own bunker. Hmm. I'm starting to get the impression that there's something up with Lambert. So this patrol debriefing says that very odd that Lambert was neither injured from the fall nor the explosion. Lambert was not injured from the fall. But... If we go to Lambert's journal, they say, it starts days ago on a night patrol, I fell into some kind of pit. I was injured, unable to move, unable to escape. Why would Lambert's own journal mention that they were injured, but then that report said that Lambert wasn't injured? And there's that one note where somebody said they saw the face of the monster and they thought it reminded them of someone like it, like it knew them. It's the monster. Somehow Lambert. Now let's go explore the prison. Oh, and by the way, this map doesn't match anything that I see on the map in administration at the moment. And I don't think it could fit the prison, which I haven't found the map for that yet, but I'm pretty sure it couldn't fit. Just judging by the outline, so this must be the Roman tunnels, I guess? Kind of a provisional map. 
That can be blown open. All right, the prisoner. Christ, I'd forgotten about them. Oh, brick! Yes! have a petrol bomb. Hmm. Don't look at it. Just save his life? I'm not sure. Was it actually gonna be able to get him? Oh, poor guy. Yeah, it is. I don't think it would have been, ab been able to get him. I don't see any hole in there. He's behind bars, so I he might have been okay. I didn't want to risk it, though. Now I have nothing to defend myself with. Absolutely fucking nothing. Oh, wait. I have one round I haven't loaded. I don't think that'll keep it away, though. There's something I need up in the cells. That's... Is that the prisoner's cell? The one that's talking, or is that the cell next to them? Okay, so I'm in processing. Just above me is interrogation. We've already been there. At the moment, the warden's office is locked and the storage is locked. But I think the storage is a wooden door. Gas grenade. Not a great defense, but it's something. Guess I'll take the med kit with me. Why not? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 
I'm too close to the gas. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh no, it's not attracted to him again, is it? Oh, I'm not gonna unlock that. I think they're okay. Let's heal myself. tunnels are. Oh, yes! Now I have enough to actually fend it off. Two is all I need, as long as I actually hit. Update on Prisoner. 4th of July. <laughs> 4th of July. Update on Prisoner 73014. With the rest of the cells empty, I have begun a program of aggressive interrogation. I hope the screams have not kept you awake. He continues to insist that he is a common soldier, that his rank was accidentally torn from his uniform, and that he knows nothing of the Second Army's plans. I do not believe him. I've ordered rations for the next three days. When next he's fed, I assume his gratitude will loosen his tongue. Final note, this work would be much easier if the officer wine rations were loosened. Wrench location note. Well, no need for that. If you need to remove grading, request the special wrench from Foreman Stafford down in maintenance. While you're there, ask him why they used these damn special screws on all the grading. Very inefficient. Wait, is there another wrench? It sounds like there might be special bolts that are more special than the ones we're already using. more sticks. I think I maybe want to save the cloth for more Molotovs. I don't really want to bring it back, so I'm not going to charge my flashlight. Okay, I can't open that. you out somewhere more useful. Ich kann es hören. 
If I remember right, one of these had a trap in it. There's a body in there. I think I should open all of them. Oh, I wonder if opening them is going to be loud. That sounds kind of loud. I'm opening every single cell except the one with the person in it. That was really fucking loud. fuel. There's a trap. Is this part of their advanced interrogation techniques? I mean, did the creature impale them? I feel like it uses its claws, doesn't use items. Okay, I don't like that there's a million ways for the creature to come out of with all those jail cells, so I'm going to close all of them. just come out again? Oh no. Um... Wait, 
please tell me that did it, because I got nothing else on me. Alright, can I please... Can I free you? Like... Dear God, can I not take that off your head? Oh, there's a hole behind him. Shit. Can I really not help him? Like, I need to untie him? Can't do that. Is there no way? I don't have a knife for anything like that. Hmm. Do I just have to lock him up again? And just hope the creature doesn't come through the hole behind him? Just hope he stays quiet? Jesus. I wanted to save him. I guess locking him up is in a way saving him. Kinda. be able to deal with this. Yes, yes, yes. Flare and a grenade. What do I not need? I guess I don't need this cloth or the bandage. Oh, it's out. It's out. If I throw a grenade, I gotta really make sure that I don't blow the guy up. I need to get the hell out of here before I get that guy killed. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode there, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, now that we have the bolt cutters, we can finally go to the Roman tunnels. <laughs>